Jake Paul or Dana White? Jake Paul or Dana White? Jake Paul. Dana White. Dana White. Jake Paul. I would certainly pay to watch them fight. It's entertaining to hear them talk. Here's the thing. In, in our business, in the fight game, you need a big personality. You need to be big. You need to be recognizable. You need to be a promoter, right? Jake Paul, it's a great act, bro. Yeah, bro, the even lift, bro. Right, Jake Paul, it's a great act. Dana White. Yeah, we're gonna put on the best fights. These are fights that people want. You gotta have an act. And I think both Dana and Jake are absolutely great at what they do. They're just great. They really are great at it. Do I have a favorite? Yes. The UFC is a superstar. Unbelievable, spreading around the world, a superstar. The challenger is Kumbate Global. Now, here's the thing. A superstar always has the advantage. Better known, People have a level of expectation. The challenger is always out to prove itself. They, there's a saying in the fight game, you have to really beat the champion. The refs know you have to really beat the champ. If it's a tie, the champ wins. That's how refs and judges score it. If it's a tie, the superstar wins. So the challengers always got to do better, always got to go further, always got to prove themselves till they become the superstar. You know, a superstar is what drives the sport. The challenger is what excites the sport. Combate is a challenger, the UFC is a superstar. If you think about the history of the sport of MMA, MMA was created with the one night tournament. The one night tournament, I think, is the hardest event in all of sports, all, all sport. Uh, it, it's the World Cup in one night. It's the World Cup in one night with someone punching you in the face. The tournament in MMA is the most incredible thing in sports. You get to see the power and strength of someone both mentally, physically, and, and, and spiritually. Because fighting is so much up here, so much up here. And to face three different opponents in one night in a fight is remarkable. And that's what you have to do to win an eight-man tournament. Three separate fights, three separate opponents. You could prepare for the first one because we announced, Combate announces the draw for the first round. But you don't know, how do you prepare for the second fight? And how do you prepare for the third fight? It's truly, truly remarkable. Title fights are great, depending on who's in the fight. Depends. Sometimes title fights are like, oh, I don't care. They both lose, right? They both lose. But a tournament, regardless of who's in it, the challenge of having three separate fights in one night it's absolutely the most remarkable thing in sports. When I started UFC 1, I used a famous martial artist, Bill Superfoot, Superfoot Wallace. And he was a commentator. He got everything wrong. He called the show Ultimate Fighting Challenge. He never even got, never even got the name of the show right. But he was famous for his high kicks, hot, really high kicks. And before the show, and he's a tall man, before the show, I'm telling him what to look for, and he just wasn't listening to me. And as I'm talking, I'm the producer, right? I started the UFC. This is UFC 1. I was sort of his boss, sort of. So as I'm talking to him, he's practicing his high kicks over my head. Yeah, it's annoying, right? I mean, I finally I said, Bill, do you think anyone's going to be using high kicks like that in the UFC? He goes, no, oh, no, you try that in a real fight. Someone grabs your and rips them off. I go, so why do you do all these high kicks? He goes, people like it. The movies generate so much interest in the mixed martial arts, but they're movies. Not always, it doesn't always work in real life. 
High kicks are spectacular. We've seen people using them again. It's like a spinning elbow. It can work if it works. If not, you're in a very bad position. Now, if you say like, should I stick to uppercuts? It comes from your toes. It comes from your toes up. You land one of those and the other person is lights out. That's how it is, lights out. But think about it, you miss, you're like this. You're in a defensive position. You're like this if you miss. So you're still defending. You expose your balls in that giant high kick. There's a lot of ways that can go wrong. I would say, boom, uppercut over bow, bow, high kick. F judges, F judges. We don't, judges are the worst. I, I, you know what? You know what I say to my fighters? Don't leave it to the judges. Don't. You don't know what they're thinking. I don't know where they get some of these judges. I just don't, I don't know. Sometimes I go, did I just see a different fight than you? Some judges know what they're doing. Most are stupid. My fighters, don't leave it to the judges. Do your own decision. Make things happen. Submission, TKO, KO. Never mind the judges. Commentators, I, by the way, commentate for Bob Day. You should watch me. I'm out of control. I'm not like any other commentator. But one, I invented the friggin' sport. So, I think I know more than anyone, whether I do or not. Anyway, judges, I, I'm, what, Combate is working on open scoring, which means you will see the judges' results during the fight. I'm working with the commissions in the US to do this. So that way, you'll see if some is scoring it wrong. So open scoring is a good way to keep the judges honest. Uh, ju ju good judges out there, they're good judges out there.